Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. I'm glad you joined me today as I share with you how to properly pack and store your own bulk food in five gallon buckets so that it lasts for up to five years. Let's get started. Okay, one thing we all learned during the initial COVID-19 scare in March of 2020 is that panic buying will almost immediately dry up the supply chain of vital supplies, as well as bulk and emergency food items. We should never forget that staple items, first aid, emergency gear, and bulk food items were back ordered for many weeks and even months in some cases. And with instabilities continuing, the best time to prepare for next time is now. Now at the time of this episode, bulk staple foods in 25 and 50 pound bags are readily available in the USA. The problem is that if you want your food cache to remain fresh for several years, you need to know how to pack and store your treasures so that they don't go bad before you use them. To do this, we need to do our best to eliminate five food spoiling items. These are air, light, moisture, heat, and biological contaminants. Here's the way it works. By taking care when handling and packaging your food, and then eliminating as much air, light, moisture, and heat as you can, you will starve the bacteria and other biological items that are in your food. The more you reduce these items, the longer your food will last for long-term storage. So storing your bulk food properly in quality five gallon food grade buckets is a great choice because they are portable in size, stackable, and they will seal tight to protect your food from light, air, and moisture. Here's what you need. The best ones for long-term storage are at least nine mil thick and are marked HDPE with a number two and a triangle on the bottom with good lids that have rubber seals that snap on tight. Food grade bucket liners twist ties, food grade desiccant packs, and food grade oxygen absorbers, masking tape, a permanent marker, dishwashing soap, and your bulk food items. First, let's compare some buckets. Okay, here's a Lowe's bucket. These buckets are thin and there's no rubber seal in the lid. Beware of buckets like this. While donut shop buckets are pretty thick and they're pretty affordable, you'll have to call your donut shop to see if they have any of these in stock but they must be cleaned well and inspected. You've got to make sure that the seals are good. But for our food grade storage needs, I really don't want to compromise. I use 90 mil thick buckets with lids from Uline, which in the end with shipping, they end up costing about $10 a bucket. Okay, now let's pack some bulk food. First, wash each bucket with soap and water and let it air dry. Next, wash your hands well or wear rubber gloves to keep the biology out. Now here's a pro tip. If bulk food arrives when it's humid out, store it in a cool, dry place with a dehumidifier on for at least a few days until the humidity goes down below 55%. Now, add your liner. Now you may need some help with this next step. So add your bulk food. Add food grade oxygen absorbers, 500 cc's per gallon or 2,500 cc's for a five gallon bucket should work just fine. Next, add food grade desiccant. 50 grams should work good here. Get as much air out of your bag as possible and seal it with a twist tie. Next, we're gonna install your lid. Now you might need a rubber mallet here. Just tap the whole way around the lid to get it to seal tightly. Tape and label the contents and add the date that you put it into storage. Now, you can stack and store your buckets in a cool, dry place with no direct sunlight. Basements often work good. All right, you're all set. Now, to keep your bulk food fresh, rotate your stock by using it in your normal food preparations and purchase more bulk food as needed. And one more pro tip, do not use bulk food that looks bad, smells bad, or has a weird consistency. That's it. We've just taken a look at how to properly prepare package and store emergency bulk food for long-term storage. For your convenience, I've placed links to all the gear mentioned 
in the video description. And you can go over to kit.co forward slash ultimate survival tips to see all of my recommended gear lists. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you like what we're doing here at Ultimate Survival Tips, we've got a full lineup of new MSK1 survival knives and everyday carry gear that I designed over at ultimatesurvivaltips.com. Okay, this is David. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know.